Okay guys, I did an update, a small update on the patio plants. Now I'm going to do the front porch plants. Front porch plants has a different light requirements. It's more of a partial shade. So it's uh, like from here, the morning lights comes in. It's about give about three, roughly about three and a half an hour of the sunlight. And then it, the sunlight goes out and I, it does get a little bit more sunlight around six, eight, like around five or six eight p.m. down the road. So it's, it's about four hours total sunlight a day. But the good thing is it prevents it from the mid mid afternoon direct scorching sunlight because these guys don't really like scorching sunlight. They're, it's not, it's just not their requirement. These the two are symbolians here. As you can see, this one after it moved to the front porch, uh, see those white spots there? These are just bird poops. There's a one bird It's extremely um, hateful towards me. I don't know why. It keeps pooping on my uh, symbolian plants. But you know, I removed it. It's not a big deal. Uh, you can wash it off during when it's when it's raining out there. Just put that one out there and let the rain does the work. And um, down here, this is a symbolian tianxiang. As you can see, it had put out a lot of new growth. One, two, three, four, five, five. You can probably, I don't know if you, yeah. it's, a, it's a lot of new growth and it's all around. You can see the light green color. It's a new shoots coming out. And you probably ask me, what happened to these right here? Well, when I first moved out, I was thinking about putting in the back patio. Figure, you know, the other big pots can overshadow this one, give it a shade. But apparently the sunlight one day got a little bit too strong and I wasn't home. So I kind of rushed home later today, that day and move it to the front. And the damage has been done and cannot reverse it. But the thing is, this ambient, it's very, um, very strong in recovering your damage portion. It will, I mean, it will eventually will get rid of this damage portion and put the nutrient into a new growth. And if, again, for a beginner who would love to, wants to collect Symbidian, I recommend this one. This one is called Symbidian Tianxiang, Symbidian NC Folium Tianxiang. It's very um, newbie friendly. And of course, I don't want to talk about these two because um, I typically into fragrant plants, but since they're out here, I might as well talk about it. I've been putting those two out there. Um, I don't, I didn't collect these two, okay? Well, I took care of them on my wife's behalf. She bought them on during the uh, sales and Home Depot looks very pretty, you know, with the flowers and stuff. And after flower dropped and she's like, okay, what do I do with these now? Should I throw them away? I said, whoa, 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 you know, if you're gonna buy a plant, you have the responsibility of taking care of them. If you don't want, I can help you take care of them. So anyway, there you go. So while I do, I did a propagation last time on the Jasmine made of New Orleans, I kind of stuck one on the side to the uh, orchid. You see, it's growing really well and it had two flower buds, or well, three actually forming already. And besides the Jasmine forming a flower buds, you can see the uh, Philonopsis orchids are shooting, putting out shoots too uh, with the flowering. Uh, flowering shoots uh, you see those that that one has two the other one this one has one anyway enough talk uh, coming back to the Sambidium Ruby Chen the big one you, you can see it's just very healthy on the side as well and a lot of new shoots coming out and uh, it's very strong as you can see the roots are coming out too I repot this one not long ago and as you can see, very healthy. Um, it got a little bit of sun damage too, but this one can tolerate more sun than the Symbidium uh, Tianxiang. This one actually, some I heard from somebody on the internet that they actually give this one full sunlight. And the leaf got burned and stuff, it's fine, but it grows like crazy. But for me, I'm just gonna play it safe. One thing about the Symbidium is that um, whole plants are uh, the leaves, all the green leaves are kind of dangling out. Let me, let me show you one second. Kind of like dangling out. If you look from the side, it's very, uh, what should I say? I don't know if you see one of those Chinese drawings, uh, ancient drawings and what the wild, um, the Symbian leaves shows a really uh, elegant, um, what should I say, uh, balance kind of a, I, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's that you have to get into Symbian collection and you'll understand what I'm saying. But anyway, I'll just save that for some other time. Yeah. Back over here, we have the uh, white champaga. I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably, the main purpose of when I first done the video on this channel was to start out with white champaga. I didn't know, back then, not many people, when you search white champaga, all they show is how 
people make money off Weishan Paga selling flowers and stuff or how to propagate, but never they mention in anything else but Weishan Paga. So anyway, back to the subject. Um, as beginning early this year, I show you in the basement, I did a full propagation air laying on here. And when I brought it out here, I told you guys before the old leaves will drop and some of them still are dropping and some of them are getting wind damage and sun damage as you can see the brown the brown spot over there and sometimes the wind damage dry spot right here i'm just gonna leave it out here as it is i'm just gonna leave it out here just leave it out here let them uh, let the uh, plants give it a little stress let them adapt to the new environment which is not a new environment they've been this one been sitting in the same spot every year just that winter time I move it to the basement so now it's need a what I should I say a little time to adjust back into where it, it used to be belong but anyway things aside as you can see the flower buds are already forming there are some flower buds decide to go bust and turn brown and die because of stress but which is I it's understandable but some of them are actually putting out I think right now if I were to look at a time frame it's been out for a week give it about another week it's probably gonna be adjusted 100% and start growing more and once I give it a little bit of boost flower boost or you know it'll grow, grow like crazy now one thing I do point out from all the four air layering oh yeah this one just fall off it's fine all the four air layering you can see this one's still doing well the leaves still growing on the other side but no sign of branch turning brown there's one more down there I don't know if you can see it down there it's still doing well too and so we have we have four air layering spot out here and this one over here is doing well too but the leaves is all gone the branch still stay green so it's still a little hope now on this one now for you those of you want to try air layering this one is a perfect example of fail air layering you see the branch you see the branch it's all black so it's mo uh it's rotted so what i'm gonna do is um uh, gonna cut cut this one off to prevent a few further rotting into the bigger branch. All right, just something point out, uh, that's a good example right here if you are doing air layering and you can tell if it's successful or not, or is it doing well or not. So you can prevent the further spread of rottenness uh, of the, uh, this one is doing very well. You see the other leaves still hanging on. Okay, and see, there's not a bird poop right there. This bird really hates me. I don't know why, but it's, uh, anyway, uh, bird poop is usually not a problem uh, when, it's, when it rains outside or wash them off. So anyway, that's just uh, my front porch, front porch update on uh, plants. All right, if you guys have questions, please post below and I'll see you next time.